Just get two wheels. Just get two wheels. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. I know you're going to dig this. Sidewalk closed. Well, I'll go this way. Whenever there's. Hmm. Well, I'll go this way. Whenever there's anyone around here. What's going on? What's going? What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? So here I am in Edmonton. I'm wearing a two because I'm Canadian, eh? I don't like what I'm seeing so far. Canadian with a little bit of Long Beach. Who rides a bike in the winter? Canadians. Why? Look. Bob and Doug McKenzie. A lot of people have asked me, Scott, will you ever do anything about Bob and Doug McKenzie? I say, first of all, call me Scott. Second of all, I will do something about Bob McKenzie. This is kind of about Bob and Doug McKenzie. You know them? Remember them? From the 80s? Take off, eh, you hoser. Uh, Bob, Strange Brew was their movie. Good day, welcome to the Great White North uh, Canadian Corner. I'm Bob McKenzie, this is my brother Doug. How's it going, eh? Now, why is there a statue of Bob and Doug McKenzie here at Edmonton? Why? Well, let me tell you why. Because, see, SCTV was not an immediate hit. Started airing in 1976, got taken off the air in 1979. It was filmed in Toronto. And then the uh, uh, Andrew Alexander, I believe his name is, who ran Second City, said, "No, no, no, this show's got something. We got to keep got to keep it going." So he signed a deal with CITV Studios here at Edmonton to start the show up again. So they filmed for two seasons here at Edmonton. That's why Edmonton's also known as one of the homes of Second City. They filmed it here, not right here. I'll show you where. Now we're here. But that's why they have Bob and Doug here. But look what people have done to Bob and Doug. Now that's awesome that there's a statue of them like that. But look what people have drawn. Like, people draw. Like, that's so... Rick. Rick Moran. What? That's... Really? This is wrong. That's so wrong to do that. Take off, eh? Oh, you hoser. How's it going? Okay. Boy, like, I don't know what's going on. Why is, why the, uh, the, le the letters didn't come up? The letters? Yeah. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. Who defaces Rick Moranis? Who beats up Rick Moranis? Upsetting. Out of nowhere, a total stranger sucker punches Ghostbusters actor Rick Moranis okay. as he walked on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Now there's been an arrest in last month's attack. But who defaces him? They're very lifelike. They're very creepy. When I drove past at first, I thought they were two dudes. I was looking for the statue, but I didn't realize how crazy it would look in person. Like, it looks like two, just two dudes. Chilling. Two dudes, eh? So yeah, they're famous for take off, eh? That's what we're saying. And in Canada, we don't necessarily say take off. We say something else off a lot. At least I do. But we do say A a lot. And we're very nosy. We're very nosy as Canadians. Especially in the Midwest, I found. Because I've been going to a lot of small towns. And I wear my Maple Leafs face mask everywhere, going into places. And they say, oh, you're from Toronto, eh? So they actually, and we don't talk, but, and the accents are real in certain parts of Canada. They say, oh, you're from Toronto, eh? And I'm like, yeah, what are you doing here? I'm like, I just film some stuff. I'm going to a small town, not to, uh, too far from here. Oh, what town? I'm going to Drumheller. Oh, what are you going to Drumheller for? You're going all the way up to Drumheller. Like, yeah, dude, like I'm going to Drumheller. Oh yeah, where are you going? I'm going to Dorothy, Alberta. Dorothy? What are you doing up in Dorothy? 
Bicycle? What are you going to do in Bicycle? Very nosy people. All Canadians, we're a little bit no, no, I know, we're, we're nosy and we're cavalier about certain things. You know, like, I'm trying to think of what we could be cavalier. Well, we're very, we're very relaxed and calm Canadians and chill for the most part. We have a morbid sense of uh, humor, that's for sure. Most Canadians do. Uh, do you hear about Glenn? What happened to Glenn? Oh, we got hit by a truck, eh? Got hit by a truck? Yeah. Yeah, then the truck driver, he lived though. But then uh, Glenn's wife. Remember Glenn's wife? Yeah, I remember Glenn's wife. Yeah, she died too. Really? Like right after? No, like 20 years ago. You remember Gord? Well, which which Gord? I know about 20 Gords. Oh, uh, Gord. No, Gord with the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Gord. Yeah, he died. Really? Yeah. Snowboarding. Yeah? Sounds about right. Yeah, he always liked to snowboard. He loved to snowboard. Yeah, he died, though. And then we're just like, yeah, it's very casual. But Bob and Doug McKenzie, so that's Dave Thomas in the dark jacket. That's Rick Moranis, who got beat up in New York City on the street. What the hell is up with that? Who beats up Rick Moranis? But right there. So I now get to get to the studios where they filmed it. Look at that. So you take it to the studios where they filmed. Can't really show you much. Can't get into a TV studio, especially on a Sunday, especially during COVID. But let's take another look at these uh, statues right here. This is really, really cool. And the, the original cast, Martin Short wasn't in, <clears throat> wasn't in the original cast. Neither was Rick Moranis. Did you know that? They joined later. And Harold Ramis was in the original cast. And then he was only in a few episodes and then he became, he was just the writer. Harold Ramis, so. John Candy, of course. Now I believe John Candy and Catherine O'Hara left for a little bit. And then they were convinced to come back. So the show only ran for two years. I mean, two, over two years here at Empton before we moved back to Toronto for uh, the remainder of the season. It became a huge hit. I mean, it inspired... It, it, Catherine O'Hara, Martin Short, Joe Flaherty, Eugene Levy, John Candy, Andrea Martin, <sighs> Herc Moranis, Dave Thomas. There's going to be somebody big I'm forgetting. Somebody big, somebody big, somebody big. John Candy, Demar Short, Dave Thomas. I think I got everybody. Yeah, but a lot of comedy stars from that TV show, SCTV. So let's go down to where they filmed it. And this hat does say Long Beach. I couldn't find my Canadian too, but still a toque, okay? And most Canadians, especially uh, out here where it's really cold, you gotta wear a toque. Probably started in August, I imagine. That's how cold it gets up here. There they are. Let's go to the studio now. Hey, remember Gary Grossman? Uh, no. He went to junior high with us. Come on. No, I don't remember. Fuck guy. He went to junior high with us. Come on, man. You know that. I don't remember him. Why? What's what's he doing now? Oh, he died. That's too bad. Yeah. He was a dick, though. Nobody really liked him ever in junior high. You remember him. You hated him. Well, then I'm glad he's dead. Hey, do you remember Mike Bender? No. No, I don't. Why? Is he dead? No, 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 no. He didn't die. He didn't die. He's got seven kids. Ah, wow, it's a lot of kids. Yeah, they all died though. Oh, well, that's that's horrible. Well, a lot of them were dicks, but still, seven kids all dead. Wow. Now, let's get a beer, okay? Uh, Second City started in Chicago in 1959. It was originally uh, came out of the University of Chicago when it was the West Compass Players. It was uh, the University of Chicago didn't have a theater department. And they created their own, uh, they being uh, Elaine May, Mike Nichols, Severin Darden, Del Close, Bernie Sollins, uh, Sheldon Patankin. There was a lot of people who, uh, I think Ed Asner was, was part of that, Shelley Berman. Harry Truman. Harry yeah. Truman was part of that. <laughs> he had great stuff. A lot of, oh, he, he was, was terrific, funny. The yeah. blackouts he came up with. Uh, uh, what, did, <laughs> what, what does a Second City refer to? What was the... What does that mean? Second City. What? Uh, it was an article, I think, in the uh, New York Times, wasn't it? There were uh, 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 New Yorker magazine. New Yorker magazine yeah. uh, saying Chicago was second to New York in everything, mm -hmm. uh, in every way. Which I don't know if everyone believes that or not. Chicago's <laughs> a fine town. It Toronto is. Toronto is town. a fine town, also, where yes. you guys are now doing yeah. the show. Pittsburgh's a fine town. I Pittsburgh <laughs> is all right too. <laughs> Didn't get a huge response. <laughs> what about Monterey? Monterey, beautiful yeah. place. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Now, when you were Queensville, doing... another place where I'm from. Well, Queensville. Mm -hmm. and this is uh, in Ontario, yeah. outside of Toronto. Yeah. Uh, tell me about doing the show from. No one. No one from Queensville. 
Tell oh, me about doing took this. off the toque. I just went like a little bit south, so to speak, and it's warmer. Here I am outside of Global Edmonton, which is, Global is a TV station across Canada. And back in the day, this was CITV Studios. And this is where they filmed Second City. Now, to get inside a working television studio, especially Global, which is national, is really hard, especially during COVID. However, if you're nice and you persevere and you See, I can't do the whole, when I'm, in, when I'm in the States, I try to get into places that, you know, normally you can't get into. I go, I'm from Canada. You know, I've said this before. I, use my, I, I switch to a different tone. I'm from Canada. I was just wondering. Here, I can't use that because they're from Canada too. So there's no tricks I can do. But, alas, they're going to let me film the lobby. I'm not gonna be sure if I'm going to be able to find any clips from SCTV where they showed lobby, but they, they, SCTV was about a fictional television station, Second City Television, and this building, they, u this, they use it as their set. The lobby, the control room, and then there's dressing rooms. I'm gonna, sh I now, they're gonna allow me in the lobby and I'm gonna shoot some hallways quickly. So I don't know exactly where uh, the soundstage was. I can't get to the soundstage because of COVID, I understand. But um, the dressing room and all that. Joe Flaherty was back here not too long ago, and he said it all looked the exact same. I mean, this building's old, as you can tell. It looks like 70s, 60s architecture. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an architect yet. But, yeah, it's very, very retro looking. I mean, it's, it's old. If in history class, all it did was write down what it was doing. <laughs> Stolen joke. But if it was in history class, it would just write down because it's that old. Right here, right inside. Let's go inside, take a look right now. Tell me about doing the show from Edmonton. Is this, is this where we, the last cycle of shows came out of there? Yeah, we're notorious for uh, selling out to the lowest bidder, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we ended up there. Now, how does that no, happen? No. This is a major network television extravaganza, and they're doing it in Edmonton, a city of how big? Oh, geez, it's uh, 800,000 people now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's growing every day. It's, it's a big city. It's Boomtown. <laughs> Edmonton. <laughs> uh, SCTV was uh, the last season of shows produced in uh, Edmonton. Yeah. Now, uh, again, that's not really Los Angeles or New York or any of the cities that we mentioned. Uh, how did it end up there, and what was it like doing it there? One Either of the one of you guys. One, or you of the, one of the owners of the show. Uh, our show is like the, the movie The Producers. Uh, <laughs> kind of a tax deal. A number of, number <laughs> of stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm being bitter. <laughs> you didn't come through with that per diem. <laughs> I can say that now. My lawyers talk to me. I'm clear. <laughs> one of the owners, Dr. Allard, owns a TV studio in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result, that's where we did the show. It was his, it was his, his studio, that's where we worked. Yeah. It was it a, a nice, a enormous yeah. complex? Not an no, enormous no, complex. It's, it's, it's nice. very small, tiny little place. Mm -hmm. the, the staff and crew there were great. And yeah. the director there, yeah. uh, John Blanchard, incidentally, who, shot, who shoots all of our stuff, he's, he's really good. The show looks terrific. Yes. You would not guess that it comes out of anything uh, less than a first rate no, operation. The city takes a bad rap, you know, but it's a real nice city and uh, there's good people there. Yeah. How cool was that going in there? That was awesome. Oh, I loved it. That was a thrill. Hope I can find some shots of maybe the lobby. I'm sure it's probably changed. Maybe look, I, I couldn't uh, really match up anything when I was in there in my head. But yeah, yeah, I, that's where they filmed it for two years. Right here in the, like a, it's a normal little sub division, suburban area. Most TV studios are, it's right? It's just a building. Except I wonder if the people that live right there with, their, with that brown garage or the, with the white ones, if, you're, if you ever come across this video, do you know what went on here? The history inside this building? It's crazy. Oh, Second City TV. Okay. That's it. I, I don't know what else to say about, about SCTV. So many of those performers went on to have some of the biggest careers in Hollywood. My personal favorite, John Candy and Martin Short. Tied. I can't decide. And I love them all, though. And just awesome. That was filmed in there. Wow. Okay. So, from the Global Television Studios. From the Global Television Studios, formerly the CITV Studios, formerly the home of Second City, for two years in Edmonton, 
I'm going to say peace. Out. Peace out. Oh, you heard about Randy, eh? Hell yeah, yeah, he died. Yeah, yeah, I jumped off one of those bungees. Yeah, well. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. He was a dick. No, no, no. He was a fucking dick. Okay, that's our show for day. Good day. I think that was like our best show ever.